Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. This is your boy, Town Biz. All right, man. So check this out. Hey, listen, everybody is allowed to voice their opinion. It isn't about being wrong. It's about being right. This is what you call everybody can voice their opinion. Um, and I'm looking for everybody's opinion. All I ask, be respectful. Be respectful to me. Be respectful for, to the people in the comment section. But this is a, a, a question that we all need to discuss, okay? Especially for the for the Warrior fans and just for uh, basketball aficionados. <sighs> Look, Bob Myers leaving is a big hit for the Warriors. And it's going to hurt the Warriors because, like I said, uh, Bob Myers was the guy that helped put this team together and build this team, you know. Um, so now you have to wonder, well, what should they do now? What should they do with Steve Kerr? A lot of people just feel like it's just time to move on from Steve Kerr. Um, this season was a disaster. Yes, the Warriors made it to the second round of the playoffs, but to be honest with you, where the Warriors were seated, you would think the Warriors at the worst case scenario should have been at least, you know, maybe the, the first or second seed. Now, look, Denver deserved to be where they are. Denver, for the most part, was the best team. But the Warriors just played God-awful basketball for three quarters of the season. And everybody knows it. And then a lot of people just don't like Steve Kerr's coaching style. You know, they don't like how he switches out. They don't like his rotations. Um, and then me, myself, what made me turn on Steve Kerr is basically how he handled basically the James Wiseman situation, how he treated James Wiseman. He just didn't want the guy. And at the end of the day, you know, James Wiseman is gone. But I feel that the Warriors gave up on James Wiseman too quick or should I say Steve Kerr did or then again Steve Kerr didn't want him to begin with you know so you just see a lot of things you see a lot of flaws Steve Kerr is just a guy that got lucky he came into a good situation it was basically the same thing that happened with Larry Brown when he basically became the coach of the Detroit Pistons like I keep saying Rick Carlisle would have won the championship with that team. But Rick Carlisle ended up winning the championship anyway as a coach. And I, I keep saying that. So you you just look at the situation. He just, you know, I just don't think Steve Kerr is just that good of a coach. I just don't. And I think a lot of people see that now. You know, it's like there are sometimes in certain situations where he just seemed like he is just clueless. Like, he just don't know what to do, you know? And I think you saw it this time. At the end of the day, the Warriors, for most of the, for the most part, they were at full strength, and they still were just losing games, didn't have no business doing. They were god-awful on the road. And then Steve Kerr, he couldn't control a lot of his players, uh, the way the Warriors handled that situation with Draymond Green and and Jordan Poole, like I said, Draymond Green's ass should have been shipped out the moment, the moment that happened. He should have been gone. He should have been gone, but they kept him there. And then you seen the season that they had, you know, it just was just like, man, you got to be kidding me. So, you got to ask the, the big question. How much longer is the, the Warriors going to keep Kerr around? What should they do with Draymond Green? Draymond Green can opt out. Then you think it to yourself, okay, what about Jordan Poole? Now you're hearing behind the scenes that the Warriors may have regretted giving him that contract. Because now they don't know about him. Then you have to wonder, should you shake things up a little bit? Um, to me, we already know everybody on that team is expendable, except probably, probably, well, you know, Stephen Curry isn't going anywhere. 
I think to to a certain degree, I think even Clay Thompson is expendable, and I'm, I'm a big Clay Thompson fan. But the Warriors may need to consider blowing up this team, if not blowing up this team, like retweaking it. And I think there's some stuff, some valuable pieces that the Warriors could offer in trades, and then they, you know, and just see what's out there. Um, I'm going to make this video. I know people would say this is a, a, a risk, but man, I was thinking to myself, I, I had this conversation with two raw, you know, Zion Williamson isn't happy in New Orleans. He doesn't want to be there. And I know people going to say, well, you know, he's always hurt. And he can't stay in shape. And you have to wonder, maybe he need a, a change of scenery because I don't think he's going to sign with them long term. And he's not going to want to be there long term because you already been hearing that his family members and the people affiliated with him have told him he shouldn't stay in New Orleans and he need to get up out of there. And you have to wonder, well, if he had a change of scenery maybe he would play to his full potential being the number one overall pick. Um, to me, everybody is expendable except maybe, like I said, Stephen Curry. Um, it would take an offer out of this world for me to give up Wiggins. I'm talking about you have to, I'm talking about you have to have a trade that would include some somebody like Devin Booker or somebody like that. And then I think the Warriors could the Warriors need to get some rim protectors and they need to get, you know, some guys that can pound the paint. I know the Warriors have got where they got jump shooting, but I think at times you need to switch it up a little bit. You know, they need more guys that can create their own shots because the Warriors, you know, really rely on jump shooting. It's worked for them so far, but I just think to a certain degree they need to switch it up a little bit more, and that's just real talk. But a lot of questions need to be answered. We're asking the questions right now. What should the Warriors do? Because like I said before, I think Bob Myers is the reason why Draymond Green is there, and I think now, um, who knows? They might look at, you know, Kerr, I don't. I just don't know about him. I just think Kerr. I just think it's time for the Warriors to move on from him. I don't think his job should be secured. I know people are gonna say he's won four championships, but at the same time, he don't seem to be a dude to a certain degree that his players just respect to the fullest. Yeah, they like him as a person and a coach and stuff, but then you wonder, do they like? Is he what you call the dude that'll drop the hammer? He don't seem like that kind of guy. Sometimes you got to be firm. And he just don't seem like that, that, that kind of guy. So we'll see what happens. Anyway, it's your boy Tail Biz. I'm out.